Hey guys, so we are back with another video. Anyway, my name is Randy. Usually, dito naman si Ken and we are now together with the crew. We have uh, Mac, we have Dexter, and we have Rata, oh, Edward. <laughs> <laughs> We're missing some. We, we don't have Charles here, we don't have Kevin, and we don't have Ernest. But uh, we want this to be pretty special because this is a very, very special build as always. Sino pa usapan natin ngayon? Project Best of Show. Our recently built Hilux. This is actually a 2016 Hilux, di ba? Hilux Red. Pero siya yung nanalo sa recently concluded Manila Auto Salon 2021. Nung ginagawa pa lang, this is a long project eh. Six months lata natin ginawa to, no? Well, around six months. Natapos na yung event lahat. Wala pa kami na iisip sa pangalan. So we decided to go with the Project Best of Show. Very blessed to have won uh, fourth consecutive uh, best of show the Manila Auto Salon and Sport Truck Show. We have our Land Cruiser in 2017, right? And then uh, reserve best of show yung Tong Kanaten back in 2018. I love. Yes. 2019 is our uh, Project Pyro. Then uh, 2020 wala tayong event. Then comes 2021 we have prepared this Hilux Revo and the uh, best of show. Double best of show tayo na buwari natin. Yes. Extreme sport. Sports truck show yung uh, nakaporta na sell natin si Project Iconic. We have the cruiser. Further ado guys, uh, we would like to show you Project Best of Show.
Well, since wala pa yung lunch natin, it's actually 12.15 lunch time. Pag-usapan muna natin si Project Vessel Show, guys. Alam ko, gutom na si Dexter, pero mamaya text na. <laughs> <laughs> like our usual uh, client, this is not his first time with Autobot. Yes. This is, I think, third or fourth na rin, no? Earn natin talaga yung tiwala ni Boss, uh, which is nagpapasalamat tayo. Uh, hindi lang kay Boss na mayari ng highlights sa to. Sa lahat ng mga sumusuporta sa akin at patuloy pa yung sumusuporta ng mga pagawa ng mga rate nila sa atin. And uh, clients like this, we also learn from them. Yes. Kasi he is very, very meticulous. Sobra. Very, very meticulous. Uh, the owner is into construction, so he builds houses also. So to the smallest details, sinecheck niya. A bit of pickup actually. Ginagamit niya na sa construction. This is actually silver, no? Yeah, original color silver. Uh, then like the side three boss since yung mga recent build niya is white. white. So gusto niyang i-white. Then yung paint na ginamit natin, yung Ica paint na crystal white. Crystal hindi siya white. normal white, hindi siya yung pearl white. Yung crystal white. Mas iba kasi yung dating yung pagka-white ng crystal. Although medyo may kahirapan talaga i-apply yun. Lalo na sa mga pag-retoke, pero pag nakita nyo siya, well, sobrang ito. Well, one of the hardest paint kasi is akala nila normal lang, is, but it, it, it's white. Especially it's, if it's pearl uh, white. Uh, I think, uh, let's move on to the upgrades. Sobrang dami, sobrang dami. Ano ano yung nilagay natin dito, Dex, ng mga bumpers? Straight ARB. ARB tayo dito, no? Uh, ARB tayo. Triple loop na summit natin, then mm -hmm. yung rear natin, yung row, there are two kinds of bumper ni ARB, yung summit at saka yung rope, we decided that rope <coughs> para at least medyo sexy pa rin yung likod. But during the first stage of the build, we went with a different bumper and right. then ended up with ARB. ARB. Uh -huh. And then naka-drop kit to, no? sa under chassis. Naka-drop kit siya ng 6 inches. 6 inches unicorn drop kit. Yes, with unicorn. the long travel shock. Ang makikita nyo sa video yung nakakabit is yung... Uh, right Max Supreme, yung 10 way natin. Mm -hmm. Uh, long travel suspension. Long travel meaning, yes. since nag-drop kit tayo, nagpalit na rin tayo ng spindle, ganun din yung haba ng shocks natin. Hindi tayo gumamit ng spacer o tower. So yes. at least yung play rin ng shocks, tama doon sa new height na ginawa natin. And mas safe. At least hindi ba natin yung mga CV joint natin, yung axle natin, and the lower control arm. With the tires, uh, na kinabit natin size 37, uh, is a Mickey Thompson Baja Pro. Hindi siya normal na tires. Hindi siya nire-recommend for city driving, talagang pang trail. Pero si Boss, uh, naka 2 sets of wheels siya. Meron siyang pang city driving at meron talaga siyang pang trail. Yung this trail is actually trail. normal sa mga nag-trail talaga, di ba? Uh, so, Kasi with this kind of time na nakikita nyo ngayon, uh, he needs more traction. He, wants, he needs to create more traction para iwas din bala o hindi rin mahirapan mm -hmm. sa dito sakyan. But Marco, pakita na lang din natin yung isang wheel set niya for a daily driving. Yeah, naka-KMT. Although naka-bidlock pa rin siya dito, tapos yes. naka-KMT na 37 pa rin. Fuel, anong ginamit natin lang? Sa uh, yeah. nakakabit with the Baja Pro is yung Ken Block. Ken Block. Tapos Ken lang doon sa isa is... Sephir. Sephir. Nag-regear din tayo dito. Anong ratio ng regear siya natin? Nakako. Din install the Ride Max 10 way long travel, also paired with king, spring, winch, and bumper loaded siya. For the lip spring, top dog lip spring, and also yung upper control arm niya, top dog lip. Then, yung buong chassis nito, pinaint natin ng raptor paint para at least mas durable siya at saka mas maganda tingnan. We did some uh, skid plate, naglagay tayo ARB, yung three pieces, UBP, under protection. And then, of course, since we did a little uh, taller lip, and then we went with the bigger, chunkier tires. Kailangan na natin i-adjust yung ratio ng gearing nito, which is ginamit natin si Yukon. There are specifics, eh. If you go with uh, 35, 37, 40s, there are specific ratio for your wheel set. So since we went with 37, ang ginamit natin ratio, ano, Gord? 5.29. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>